एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू गोइंग क्राफ्ट एंड हे वट आई एम डूइंग आई एम मेकिंग माई ओन मॉडलिंग पेस्ट टेक्स्चर वर्क चेक आउट दी वीडियो ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल नाउ हे आई एम टूडे गोइंग टू डू अ डिकोपा चार्ट ऑन दिस वुडन पैनल विद अ लॉर्ड ऑफ टेक्स्चर वर्क एंड स्टेंसिल वर्क नाउ बिफोर वी स्टार्ट दिस कम्प्लीट टूटोरियल प्लीज टू मेक श्योर दैट यू सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल हिट द बेल लाइक एंड सो दैट यू डू नॉट मिस आउट एनी ऑफ आर अपडेट्स now just to show you a little more clearly i am adding my modeling paste my diy texture paste and uh, i'm using this stencil to give a beautiful textured work to this base and uh, yes do make sure that you check out this diy tutorial on my youtube channel where you can learn how to make your own modeling paste and texture paste at home so i'm adding a little more texture on the bottom part and this is going to be a gorgeous wall decor piece with the buddha and uh, decoupage art is something which is really good and beautiful whenever you have to do a diy home decor or a handmade gifting these are just perfect so once i am done with my modeling paste work i am just trying to remove all the excess from the sides and once i am done with this i am going to really dry this up really really well so whatever the supplies i am using is available on our website at growingcraft.com you can check out all the links in the description box here using my heat gun to dry this up quickly and um, i'm just trying to make sure that before i start using my decoupage napkins i stick them really 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 well so you can let it dry naturally but it might take some time so once i was done with this and i was super excited to shoot this tutorial so i was like collect everything whatever i can and uh, then it is okay i need to calm down so here what you are seeing is my um brush water technique and here i am going to use my uh round watercolor brush and taken up a clean water and i'm just going to uh take out the design from my decoupage napkin and i'm going to make sure that i have this beautiful design perfectly so that i can use this on my wooden panel now whenever you are doing your decoupage on wood i prefer to use gesso on the base but here my wood was like really really smooth i got this from the dollar dollar store nearby and i thought using uh, this base will be like just, like just perfect for my diy home decor so whenever i'm doing my water brush technique i just use my uh, round watercolor brushes and uh, i take out the design whatever i want to use on my uh decoupage art and you can check out my channel for a lot more decoupage art tutorials so once i'm done with this technique then it's time to remove the plies of my napkin so it takes a little time so i would suggest you to use your heat gun to save a little time and that makes your work much much more faster it's very important to remove the plies of your napkin that will make sure that you do not have any wrinkles and bubbles and uh, if you have the number of plies and if you stick it directly on your base trust me you will have so many wrinkles and then removing wrinkles from your decoupage art is going to be very very difficult so try to remove as many plies as you can usually the german napkins they have one or two plies so remove whatever you can now i have already like decided what i'm going to use and how i'm going to use so here i'm using my mod podge you can even use your decoupage glue and uh, apply it generously on your base and then do make sure that you spread it really well on the sides do not add too much of your uh, decoupage glue or mod podge otherwise it's going to create a lot of uh, wrinkles and bubbles out there so just be careful with the amount of uh, adhesive you are using here now once i am like done with the spreading part then i'm going to stick my napkin and whenever you are sticking your napkin just make sure that you are really careful because decoupage napkins are really 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 thin so here you can see very carefully i'm sticking my napkin and just because we have already done a beautiful texture work now you can see those embossing part of the texture work and it looks super gorgeous and super super beautiful i hope it is very much visible on the screen so do check this out you can even check us out on instagram facebook and youtube now once i am done with my sticking work then i'm just dabbing my paint brush this will make sure that all my decoupage napkins they uh, groove out really well with my uh, base texture work once i'm done with this again i'm going to heat i'm going to heat this quickly dry and this looks so good now i need to remove all the excess napkin i'm just trying to make sure that everything is dried out well 
and now i'm going to use my uh, filer you can even use your sandpapers to remove all the excessive paper now in a lot of tutorials i have even even stick them on the sides of my base but here i was sure that i want to use a contrast color and highlight the border so which you will see at the end of it so that's the reason i'm sanding my um, excessive decoupage paper decoupage napkin so that it looks neat and clean now it's time to do your varnish this is very very important a lot of you have been asking me that before doing the color blending work why do we need to use the varnish so decoupage napkins they it's like a paper it is a paper it absorbs a lot of uh, medium so just to avoid that uh, part you need to use your varnish seal it up with your varnish and then whatever the color blending you do you can like literally clean it up very quickly your napkin will not absorb it your designs are not going to ruin that's the reason you need to use your varnish with your decoupage art now here once my varnish work has dried out it's time to do my chalk paint work so on the sides i'm using this blue color uh, pink color chalk paint and i'm going to give good two coats of uh, paint here and i have used the pink color which is like the floral on my decoupage napkin and i'm going to repeat the process on the complete sides of my base now like i said earlier also i would have preferred to use my white gesso if i'm doing it on a, any of the wooden or the mdf bases but here in this particular one this piece was like really fine sanded and uh, it was it had a very very smooth surface and i knew that doing my chalk paint and my decoupage art on this wooden panel is not going to uh, like get ruined it is going to be there very well so just adding my two coats of chalk paint directly on my wooden base and uh, now here i'm going to do my color blending so i have just taken a uh, damp paint brush adding a tinge of color and just spreading it around so this is one of the easiest way and now you can see that just because i had used my varnish on the base it is not like ruining my decoupage napkin otherwise it would have absorbed the color and it would have like really uh, ruined my buddha statue figure so that's the reason use your varnish and you will see what wonders it makes to your project now once i'm done with this i'm going to dry this up with my heat gun on off screen and here is my nazar ka tikka which i always call it as to my uh, metallic waxes and i'm giving this metallic touch just to blend in really well so my panel this diy wooden panel has a touch of gold wood pink white and a lot of love and a lot of a lot of lot of emotions so this project is like really turning out pretty well and i'm going to do the metallic wax on the sides also just to make sure that i cover it really well now after covering this up with my metallic waxes i really don't need to seal this up because these metallic waxes they don't need to be sealed up over the time it will be absorbed by the material and what you will have will be the final and the finished product now once i'm done with this i have to add a little more drama so my massive stampings are here i'm doing a lot of massive stamping using my permanent ink pad so that it make sure that it does not uh, bleed if i'm using my uh, any other mediums or varnishes so use your permanent ink pad and uh, yes you can check out all these supplies on our website at growinggraph.com so once i'm done with the stamping then i'm going to seal it up again with my varnish so whenever you're doing your massive stamping make sure that you use your permanent ink and even after doing stamping just let it dry for like 2 to 5 minutes and then it is so good to go and you can just use your varnish just giving a bit of more distressed look with the same ink pad and i'm done and off camera i did my two coats of warning varnish and uh, this is how my panel is looking so this looks absolutely gorgeous and beautiful it's one of my favorite pieces and i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial do let me know your feedbacks in the comment section thank you so much for watching guys take care and bye bye